So now let's take a look at the rest of Negan's move list. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on every single move like I have been doing recently. Um, I encourage you to take a look at the Google Doc, which will be linked in the description below, because there I list every single move, high, mid, high, or whatever it is, and most of the frame data with it. So when it comes to details, I feel like it's much simpler to have that to just look at rather than dig through the video to find, oh, did he say minus eight or minus nine? So I kind of want to just go over, I'll go over every move for the most part, but I kind of want to just glance over it, tell you what's important and then move on. There will also be timestamps in the description to show you, you know, where here's all the moves to start with forward. Here's all the moves to start with back. So you can at least narrow down what it is you want to look for. Like, oh, I like back one too. Oh, you know, was that negative? Was that plus? You can go to the back section and watch it again, or you can jump right to the dock. So I don't want to spend an hour and a half just talking about the basic move list. I just kind of want to you know, go over it all so you've seen it at least once, and then you have the, the Google Doc as a reference. Uh, so let's just start with basic jab strings. He has one, one, two. This is not a natural combo. They'll block that third hit, but that third hit tracks. I found it impossible to step, and it's only minus nine. So that's actually really good. That's a good string. If you're just going to throw out one, two strings all day, different options, and you want to catch them on that third hit, he's got a lot of stuff for that. Uh, this counter hit, one, one, two, does that. Get that knockdown. Uh, one, two, two, it's the same kind of thing. If you catch them pressing a button in between the third hit, it launches. Uh, those are both mids, and they're going to track you really well. This on block is also plus five. So... Keep that in mind. If you have someone who wants to interrupt you, let that third hit rip. Just terrorize them with single jabs or one twos, and then eventually let that third hit rip. Uh, we covered one, two, four in the punishment section. This one is natural. No fear about using that. You can confirm the third hit. This is one, two, four. One, four, two. Looks like that. A little bit of mid. Spikes an airborne opponent into the ground. Safe on block. Counter hit on that third hit. You get a knockdown. So again, if they're antsy about pressing buttons, you let this stuff rip. The third hit gets you a lot of rewards. Knockdowns, juggles, etc. Uh, he only has two strings to start with the right hand. Two, one, four, which has that low. Once they start recognizing that, they'll low parry. So don't get super used to it. Once in a while, it'll catch them sleeping. Uh, the other string is two, 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 two. Looks like that. As I mentioned earlier, the two, two is all this natural. You will never get that third hit. The only way, since this is the only thing you're going to get, it's minus 13. If you do the third hit, you'll stop people trying to punish you, but that's also minus 13. The fourth hit is only minus 12, but they can sidestep it. So it's playing that game. When are they going to press the buttons? You keep going to stop him from doing so. But otherwise, 2-2 two, two is the basic string. The other hits are just there to kind of keep them guessing. Uh, and these are 11 frame startup. His two is an 11 frame startup. So that's actually pretty good. Miguel has that, which is a very useful tool. There's a couple things that work out really well. Uh, his 4-2 string looks like that. Same thing as 1-4-2. 4-2. This is not a natural combo at all, but on counter hit it is. And if they get antsy, they get spiked by this. But it's safe on block. So you don't have to worry about it. You can kind of just, you know, start throwing these jabs out. Various numbers of hit for stuff. And just keep them irritated by everything that you're doing. But eventually they press a button at the wrong time. And boom. Uh, the other one lookout we mentioned is 1 plus 2. We saw this in the punishment section. 13 frame. Knockdown. It's only minus 13 itself, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, 2 plus 3 we talked about is this shove. This is a pretty good all-around move. It's not the fastest. It's at least like 16 frame startup, but that's not what you're concerned with. You want to kind of keep your middle distance, and as they get near you, shove them off. Or even in between strings, go for that shove. Because like I said, when you get that counter hit, you get a free follow-up from the, from the stance. Um, forward inputs. Not a lot here. There's forward 2-2. Two, two. Not a natural combo, again, but on counter hit, you get that. Turns into an attack throw. Does a great amount of damage. That's 50 damage off of a 15 frame move. It's only minus 12. Again, that's not the end of the world. You don't want to do this all day. This is really good for when, you know, an opponent is going to come rushing at you at a distance and they have no patience. So as soon as they start running, you just bang, throw that out and stuff them. 50 damage. You fishing for the counter hit with that, but it's a little risky. That's forward 2-2. Two, two. Forward 3-2 looks like this. Even riskier, this move is minus 19 on block, which is really bad, but also kind of pushes the opponent far away. It can be difficult. The, the silver lining here is this is very hit confirmable. You can do forward 3, see the knee make contact, and then let it rip. 
So you're not going to have any many situations where you just do this and get punished. You should be able to hit confirm this every time. Get a knockdown, the wall carry, everything. Pretty good all around move. Uh, forward one plus two is this. It is an armored launcher. Can't get enough of that. There's only two others in the game that come to mind. Miguel and Lily have power crush on one of their launchers. And so those have to be very, very unsafe. This is minus 16. So if you're wrong about it, they will launch you in return. But power crushes are meant to get yourself out of trouble when you're pressured in the corner or an opponent is just going, going, going. You throw this thing out and boom, they get combo instead. Pretty good move. Forward two plus three is the other attack. It looks like this. Takes an automatic sidestep and kicks them low. It's a kind of a slow process all around, but the sidestep is good. You will avoid things pretty quickly and just catch them like that. Doesn't hit grounded opponents, so it's not good for like, you know, pressuring anything like that. You have these for it. So when you want to take, you know, a grounded opponent the wall, you don't want to use this to try to like hit them and then reorient yourself. Won't work. Just stick to other low things. Forward two plus three, sidestepping low. Uh, moves that start with down forward, your general mid poking category. He has one, one, two. Looks like that. Uh, these are 13 frame startup. His down forward one, generic 13, just like anyone else's. This move is minus 13 on block, but it pushes them really, really far away. It's practically safe for the most part. But keep in mind that some characters can punish you. Be aware of it. Um, if the third hit, like I said before, if you catch them pressing the buttons, the third hit makes contact. It's an automatic screw attack. You'll get a whole combo from it. So it's down forward one, one, two. You could just do down forward one, one by itself and just annoy people. Let the third hit rip occasionally, but he also has down forward one, two, which is a mid to keep it honest. It's only minus 10 on block. It's pretty decent, but this is one that I mentioned goes into your stance. So if you're stuffing an opponent's offense with this or you're using it to punish and you know you've got it, go right into your stance and go for your nasty stuff from there. So remember down forward one, two for that purpose. Down forward two is your generic launcher. You don't really want to go in the stance. It doesn't gain you anything. You really just want to just stick to the basic combo stuff. Uh, 15 frame startup, minus 14 on block. Pretty good range all around. Not any magic crush properties, but works well. Uh, the mid kick stuff, down forward, 3-1-2 and 3-1-4. One, 3-1-2 and 3-1-4. What's funny here is these are both mid, high, mid. There's not like a mix up to it at all. Uh, three, one, two, that's only minus 10 on block and three, one, four is minus 13 on block because it knocks you down. So I guess the only reason here for the mix up is just to keep their punishment game fresh. If they're expecting the kick and then you hit him with the bat, you get that instead. Uh, it's hard to say. Well, that's a weird situation to have both of those. Uh, three, one, four works as wall carry and combos pretty well. Three, one, two breaks the floors. So as far as like a neutral poking game, which I don't think this character excels at, these don't seem to add anything to it. They're just there. Uh, the other mid kick down forward four, two and four, three. You mentioned these earlier is down forward four, two is your primary way to go into the stance because it's plus on block. And it's plus on block and it's a high, so opponents are aware. They start ducking down forward 4 3. Mid, mid, we'll hit them. And this is safe. So you really have almost, you could just do this all day. And they're not going, they're going to keep standing up and then you catch them with the high, the frame advantage, and the stance and all of that. Uh, his last down forward option is 1 plus 2, which is this. I don't think this is very good all around. It's not a natural combo. It's minus 12 on block. You really don't find too many uses for this out in neutral. It's good for floor breaks and ending combos with the spike. Down forward 1 plus 2. Not his best 1 plus 2. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, he's only got two moves with down inputs. Down 2, which is this womp on the top of the head. It's minus 7, or minus 9, I believe. The version of it out of stance is plus seven. This quicker version is not as good. It's safe, but it's not plus or anything like that. If you catch the counter hit, you get bonus damage, which is still great. So, I mean, there's no reason to not use this. It's mid and it's safe. You could get 50 damage if you catch them stepping. Same as doing this. It's just a safe version of it, so it's up to you what you need. This one's not gonna track as well. 
but they function kind of the same way. They're counter hit fishers that, that yield a lot of damage. But that's the only input he has off a of down. Other than, you know, it's just generic down jab, generic down four. And his down three is basically the Armor King down three. This is a good one. It's a nice low hit, and it's only minus 11 on block. You're going to get a while standing four at worst. So let this one rip. This character is in need of lows, so rely on this one a lot. Uh, down back are some of his other lows, and these are decent too. They're just not great. Down back two is that, which automatically puts him in stance. You don't get any, anything for free on natural hit. But you get tons and tons of frame advantage. It just hurts like hell. Don't go to get tired of getting hit by that. That swamp right in the foot and then stance. The only problem is if they block this, it's launch punishable. And that's going to be easy for them to start figuring out. As soon as you, if you get hit with the bat low, you see that low bat launcher. So they're going to learn that one pretty quickly, but it's still really good. That's a pretty good low to start your offense from. Get a free stance mix up, whatever it might be. Uh, down back four is your other. We've seen this kick from Miguel, that ankle trip. Only minus 13, which isn't bad, but this counter hit causes that weird ass stun that I've never seen before. They kind of just take like a little half step sideways. And I have the computer set to guard. And look what happens. Oh, Counter hit down back four. They didn't block those first two hits. Oh my goodness. Oops. Oh my and I don't know goodness. why. It feels like the game recognizes that as in the back. Like they're unable to block in the back. And I'm not sure why that is. Oh what's really going on there. One, two, four is guaranteed. But what I do know is you can duck. Um, that one, two, four is the fastest option he has, right? The jab. You can duck in time to duck the jab and then just stand up for whatever else it is. It's because the fastest moves, 10, 11 frames, they're all highs. So you can duck a 10 or 11 frame move and then do what you do from there. But you cannot block. You can't turn around quickly and block. I don't quite understand the rules of this stun, but it's weird. See, that's in the back. He couldn't block that. That's not a natural combo. But for some reason, it let it hit because it hit him in the rear. The only way out of this that I'm aware of is to duck real quick and then stand up. Ducking lets you avoid the fastest possible jabs, and then standing up lets you deal with whatever else there is coming. So until that's understood more fully, abuse the hell out of this. You catch these counter hits, you're going to get some free stuff. No doubt about it. So down back two is a good load into your stance. Down back four is a good one to get your counter hits from. Down three is your general pokey. Uh, down back one plus two is this guy. This is a pretty good overall move. It's a homing high, it's safe on block. Counter hit it launches. Because of the crumple stun. And if you hold it, it turns unblockable. Goes into the stance. Which is kind of a weird little gimmick that you're not going to use a lot, but it's there. So down back one plus two is a pretty solid move. You wouldn't think of it as being a high from a down back input, but go figure. Up forward two is a very similar move, just not as good. It's not technically homing and it doesn't counter hit launch. So down back one plus two is the go-to when it comes to quick swats like that. Uh, a couple of moves with back inputs. Back one, two, not a natural combo. Only minus hand though, so if you catch the counter hit, or it's great. If, like I said before several times, you catch them pressing buttons at the wrong minute, you just you just use this thing all day, and then all of a sudden you catch them pressing button for the second hit. This is an automatic screw attack, just like um, I forgot what some of the other ones were. Oh, down forward one one two. If they press a button right before that last hit, they get screw attacked right away. So that's back one two. Mid mid, decent, not safe, but not the worst, and can get you some random ass counter hits. Back 2 2 is pretty much like forward 2 2. If you get counter hit, you get the whole thing, which is 65 damage. So forward 2 2 was this guy for 50 damage, I think. That's mid mid, and it's minus 12 on block. Back 2 2 is mid mid. It's only minus 11 on block, I believe, and leads to 65 on the counter hit. Oh, that's high mid. That's the difference. That's the difference. That high mid could get crushed on approach, so just be careful. Back 2 2 is pretty interesting. It's kind of worth going after that damage to hell with the consequences. But there is back 2 3, which is safe. So there's, a, there's another option there to keep that honest. So use those both. 
really, really good option to have. Two, three, back two threes all day. And, you know, when you start reading your opponent's timing and you finish with those counter hit, back to two, boom, 65 damage. Uh, back three is this low stomp. This is an interesting move because it's pr it's relatively safe. It's only minus 12 on block. It's not the fastest low, but on counter hit, it's plus 11. That's free. <laughs> you get to just do that. You catch this counter hit, and you recognize them grabbing their leg, just swing away with the two. Uh, one, two, four would also work, but either way, it's up to you. This is a good one because I like the force crouch. One, two, four is plus on hit, and so is this, but that was a crouching state, so I'd rather go for that. Counter hit back threes. Oh my goodness. Two, two. You just don't, don't mash it out because you don't want the extra hits. They're useless. Uh, so that was back three was a low. Back four is this little kick that we've seen off a lot of characters. Shaheen has it, Miguel has it. Safe, mid kick. Oh Launches on counter hit. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I have to, you have to do a specific combo. It's back one. But anyway, there you go. That's a counter hit launcher too from a safe mid. Hits grounded like Devil Jins. Pretty good move all around. Remember that one too. Uh, the last back input is one of maybe his best overall move. Back one plus two. This is mid. This is plus four on block. Knocks you down on hit and launches on counter hit. If you want more out of a move, I'd like to see what it is. I mean, you can't, you really can't, tracking, I guess, is it. This isn't going to track very well. But you'd be surprised in this game, you know, sometimes things just catch you if you don't do it correctly. A mid, it's plus four, knocks down on hit, launches on counter hit. Good, good stuff. That's a that's a treasure to have that kind of a move. Uh, he's got a couple of up inputs, which are degrees, varying degrees of success. Up back two is this. He kind of takes a little sway step and then hits you, which he can combo. But I would personally never ever do this because this move is minus 19 on block. I don't know what situation you could find yourself in that this subtle little back step into a launcher is what you need to get out. You could easily just go for this with the armor and put yourself at risk or a million other things, honestly. That's just, that's so, minus 19 is absurd for a move like that. That's actually kind of hard to combo yourself and doesn't really get you anywhere. That's a weird, weird move to put in there. I don't know. That's kind of an odd one. I would just forget it exists if it were me. Uh, we mentioned up forward two as just a weaker version of down back one plus two. And basically is up forward two. You could use in combos because a little quicker, but not very good. Uh, up forward three and four are better. Up forward three is like this little Brian hop kick. This one isn't plus. It's minus nine, but it's still pretty good. It'll wall splat. It's, it's a low crush that wall splats. That's good stuff. And up forward four, one of his better moves. You're going to see this in combos a lot, but god damn, this is a good move. It just reaches you from downtown. He comes flying at your ass, and with his knee, he gets off the ground. This is going to have some low crush to it. It's going to just hit you square in the face, and it's safe on block. It's only minus seven or eight. Also launches on counter hit. Great move all around. One of his best moves. Between this guy being plus four and this guy covering half the map and being safe, those are really good stuff there. Uh, to round out some of his other input moves, he's got some forward forwards, which are decent. Forward forward two looks like that. Uh, mid, minus 10, knocks down. That's actually pretty good. It's got good range on it. Flips him over, knocks him down. Relatively safe on block. That's decent. Forward forward three two, on the other hand, not as good in my opinion. Damage is good. Range is good. This thing is minus like 19 on block though. It's that's just silly. There's no reason to use this, honestly. When you could just go for the knockdown with a little bit less damage and take almost no risk. Uh, same with forward forward four. That's got also good range. This reminds you of Armor Kings potentially, especially when it does that the way Armor Kings does. The only difference here is this is plus five. Armor Kings is like minus 14. Megan's is plus five, so that's a super good move. I can't imagine a world where I'd want to do forward, forward, three, two, and put myself at minus 19 instead of doing forward, forward, four, and taking plus five frames on block. That just seems like a vastly superior move. Uh, the other one is forward, forward, one, plus two, which is that. Not the fastest startup. He comes at you, but he has to wind up a little bit. But this is mid. It's safe. It knocks you down. Oh, 
And guess what? Counter hit launches. Pretty good move. I like that one a lot. To cover that ground, that's a pretty good one. They're distance and they're not quite sure what to do. Just come at him with that. It's safe. If you're wrong. But also wall splats, naturally. So on a wall splat hit, you get a knockdown in the open and you get a launcher on counter hit. Really good move. Uh, that's his forward forward arsenal. Those are pretty good ones to remember. Forward forward two is great. Forward forward four is great. Forward forward one plus two is also great. So look at the way this man covers that space. That's the thing to take away from here. Just comes flying at your ass with a bat. Up forward four comes flying at you with his knee and this big ass boot. So this is a kind of a dangerous character. It just unleashes on you real quick. That does remind me a lot of Armor King. Armor King does kind of want to be out here just playing his game and then come flying at your ass with something big. That's his specialty. And Negan kind of seems to have that too. There's a lot of good damage to be had from there. But up close, you know, up close he's got his mix-ups and he's got his stance for when he wants to be real up close and personal. Uh, quarter circle forward one, we mentioned earlier, that if you can do it fast enough is a 14 frame move. For free, you get this back one plus two on the ground. And you also get the stomp for free. 45 or 48 damage, I believe it was. The only problem here is this move, minus 19. You do not want to just do this out in the open and be wrong. Use it as a punish, you, you better be sure, because they'll just kill you for it if you're wrong. It also works well to end wall combos. It does a nice chunk of damage there. Um, what else do he have? He's got a running two. This is plus eight, I believe, which is a nice turn of events from some of the other new characters. Kazumi's is negative. Geese is maybe plus one. Like his running shoulder, that's a good one. I like that move a lot. It's the only running move he really has, though, to speak of. Because his running three just turns into a forward three. So his only running move is, is that elbow, which is plus. So that's all you really want running moves for anyway. Um, we've talked about while standing moves, while standing two, 15 frame launcher, while standing three, two, 14 frames, hit confirmable. <clears throat> so it's good to have that distinction for moves like Raven's down back four that you know is minus 14. You can't launch it, but you can get this. <clears throat> uh, so those are the only two while standing moves that are of note. He has a full crouch down forward two, which is that. Oh my goodness. Counter hit, you get that little knockdown, free follow up. So that's interesting. Only minus 13, like most lows. So you're not taking risk with lows in this character, but you're also not getting a lot. So if you can find situations to work these lows in, go for it. This guy, remember the counter hit thing on this. Knockdown from this and the stance from that. So learn all those lows and use them willingly because there's very, very little risk. You just need them to keep yourself ahead of the game. You're not getting a lot from them, but they're helping keep your opponent honest little by little. Uh, sidestepping. He's got a sidestep too. Which looks like that. It's pretty reminiscent of Brian's sidestep one in his current form. Stun launcher. Get a combo. The only difference here is that if you go left and do it, your combo is a little bit weird. You're severely off axis. But if you sidestep to the right, because the first move you do in combos is generally this thing, notice how it puts Negan off to their left axis a little bit. So when you sidestep left and then do this move, you're, you're really crooked. But other than that, it's a launcher. It's a safe sidestepping launcher. Pretty good move. Uh, that's pretty much it. He's got a, a two from back turned, which you're never going to see. And he's got a stomp down three plus four. That's it. That's, that's pretty much his whole move list. Nothing fancy in the world of throws. He's got up forward one plus two. He has one command throw. That's a one plus two break. But that's it. And the, the throw out of intimidation is unbreakable. So there's nothing else unique there. He's only got one running move. He's got one sidestep move. Basic while standing. Negan wants to be out here at the end of that range doing the big damage. Or he wants to be up close harassing you and using the stance. So when you think about it in those terms, his move list is good enough. It just doesn't blow you away anywhere. It's pretty straightforward, and it does that job as long as you know how to make it work for you. Use the right mix-ups, keep the opponent honest, and get to that stance when you know you have a read on him because it's worth it.